All right, this is a quick tutorial video on how to save and manage our files within Google Earth. I'll say that this is not intended to give us any type of instruction on the type of lines we use or the object we use for points, just on file management. Let's say we have a simple system here, a tank, and a pipeline going out. I have it already created, so it's in my places. One of the first things we need to do is place all those objects into a, uh, a folder. We'll call that project name. All right. But, and now we can select those objects and drag it into that folder. This way I kind of have it all nicely containerized. Next, what we want to do is we want to click on that folder and save place as. This will allow us to save a KMZ that grabs all those objects and save it somewhere. This could be SharePoint, drag and drop into an email, whatever is appropriate at the time. So we're going to save this. Now let's say in the course of time we decide we need to make a few edits here. So you go about your method for editing these. If the line needed to come up to that community and for whatever reason we had to bring the pipe over to this area. Right? Um, so we make those adjustments. We hit OK. Alright, we're happy. We're done for the day. So we close down. Now, next day comes, or perhaps your coworker or Charleston coworker needs to work on the files, so they open up the file browser, they navigate to the KMZ, they open up the KMZ, and they see something strange, which we'll see here in a second as this loads for us. We look at this, and now we see we have two tanks and two lines um, on some different edits, and it gets confusing. Or sometimes, if somebody else opened this file, they would be missing the edits that you have made to it. And the reason for that is if you look over in the Places pane, your instance of Google Earth will always keep the objects in my places and then open the new one that you just opened in temporary places. So you can see one line, when we saved it, we have the saved version in temporary places, and then we have the edited version um, in my places. So let's back up a little bit here. Um, and show you how we should have done this. So every time we make an edit, all right, just to be clear on all of our edits, let's go ahead and throw another line off of here, okay? Yep. Now, see, this is something to be aware of. So this line, it got thrown under temporary places. So I need to move that up to my folder with all of my objects. And so now that I've made that edit, I want to right click, save place as, I'm going to go ahead and override it onto my desktop, and now I save it. Now the important thing to do is within my places, it might be a little scary, but you need to delete what you had in my places. All right. Because now, the next time somebody opens that file, the only thing that you'll have are those files. You won't end up with those duplicate tanks and duplicate lines. And so although when you make edits within Google Earth, you don't actually need to make explicitly make a save to keep your documents, that's only true for you. If somebody opens that KMZ, those changes will not be made. So again, quick summary of how you need to be making 
changes is you save as. After you've saved as, you need to remove it from my places. And then every time you open it, you have to open it from the KMD. Hope that helps. Thanks, everybody.